What's up, TJ? We're back for one final time on this Friday the 13th. Spirit Week is next week. Monday is club day, so make sure you show your spirit. Tuesday is Twinkle Tuesday, so dress with some style. And Wednesday is tie-dye day, tie -dye day, so dress like a real hippie. Thursday is Cowboys vs. Aliens, so you can choose which team you want to be on. And Friday is TJ Day, so show your TJ spirit at the pep rally and the homecoming game. Pictures and proofs can still be obtained by your math teacher. If you don't have them, then talk to the office. Princeton University is visiting on September 16th from 12.04 to 12.55, which is your sixth period. MSU Denver will have an ambassador visit on Tuesday the 17th from 8 to 11. Twelfth graders, please sign up in Naviance. I heard admin had an announcement as well as leadership, so let's send it out over to them. Good morning, TJ. It's Mr. Scari. Um, just a couple of quick things. Number one, um, if you have a friend that doesn't go to our school, um, no, they can't come visit you during lunch. They can't come hang out on our campus. I got 1,250 kids I need to worry about already. I don't need another one. Do not let them come visit, okay? Tell them to stay on their own campus, all right? Um, other than that, the other main thing I want to tell you is <clears throat> you're expected to, to ask an adult for help if you're having a conflict with a classmate that could turn into something more. It's your responsibility to come ask for help. If you don't and you handle things the wrong way, you might end up uh, with more than you bargained for, all right? So please, ask an adult for help and uh, we can help you work out those issues. That's all, TJ. Have a great Friday. Thanks. Perfect. Good morning, TJ and Mr. Kristoff here, your favorite principal. Hey, TJ, guess what next week is? It's Spirit Week! Woohoo! If you're new to TJ, Spirit Week is awesome. And people participate, and it's more fun with more people that dress up. So, next Monday is Clone Day. Dress like your buddy, dress like a friend, dress like me. That's easy, just look good. Um, but get into it, TJ, it's fun. And it's what we come to high school for. This is the stuff that you guys will remember and the things that you will remember 20 years from now when you look back at high school. Remember, oh yeah, I remember Clone Day when I dressed up like Mr. Kristoff. That was an awesome day. Possibly the best day of my high school years. That's all I got for you, TJ. Have a great weekend, be safe, and I'll see you Monday. Kristoff out. Perfect. What's up, TJ? It's Bella and Oliver here from Leadership with announcements for next week. So make sure you actually pay attention because everybody seems to be confused. So we're going to give you guys a quick rundown. Yeah. Monday, clone day. Clone day, like twin day, like similar to me and Oliver, like dress the same. We'll have... It's like your clone. Yeah, like we'll have like a competition during lunch of whoever's like the best twin, so make sure you come out to that. And... The bonfire. The bonfire is Monday night, so make sure you come. There's going to be food. Activities. Games. Yeah, so come, bring your friends, have a good time. Tuesday. Twinkle, Twinkle Tuesday. Tuesday. You know, come out all sparkled and bright. Neon, bright colors, glitter, all that-ish. You guys that. know. Wednesday is abducted day yes so we, we have, have powder puff make sure you guys come to powder puff it's during office hours also there's practice for powder puff that day during lunch so if you're in powder puff go out to the field and practice yes on the turf on the turf and there's practice for the seniors monday and tuesday of next week and then for their juniors there's practice today during lunch on the turf Yes. Be there. And then Thursday. Thursday. Out of this world day. Yes. No, actually, wait. Thursday is Cowboys versus Aliens. Out of this world, Cowboys versus Aliens. Same you know, ish. Same deal. So Thursday, you dress up like a cowboy or you dress up like an alien, like the old Western. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. And we're going to have a dodgeball tournament during lunch in the gym with Cowboys versus Aliens. If you don't dress up, still come out. You can play, play. yeah, it'll be a fun lunch. time. And then TJ Day is Friday. Friday. So come out, TJ, TJ geared up. Senior girls, that's when you wear your overalls. Yes. So make sure you hop on that. Also, hot boys practice today in the dance room. Yes, at lunch. be there. You'll yeah. get many. Also, tailgate's Friday. Tailgate is on Friday. And homecoming tickets. The dance. Buy them. Every 15, day. 15 for singles, 25 for couples. We'll be selling 
all through next week during lunch and after school and we'll be selling at the door but prices will go up so make sure you get your sick uh, make sure you get your tickets soon now yeah. deuces tj peace out cool <laughs> welcome back hey mckenna did you hear about the guy who invented knock knock jokes no yeah he won the nobel prize <laughs> now let's send it out to sports news Good morning, TJ. We're so glad to be back. I'm Adidas. And I'm Parkora. Let's get into the sports. We don't have any sports events this afternoon. Tomorrow, our volleyball C team has a tournament at South. And our gymnastics team has an invitational at 8 in the morning. Hey, Parkora. Yeah, Adidas? Why did the ballerina quit? Balance? No, it was too, too hard. LOL. Holy guacamole, am I right? In local news, our Broncos have a game on Sunday at 225 against the Bears. That will take place at the Broncos Stadium. And our Colorado Rockies have games today, tomorrow, and Sunday against the Padres. All those games will take place at Coors Field. Don't forget, Powder Puff takes place next week at office hours. If you're a junior or senior girl, make sure you get your shirts, pay your fees, and come out to practice. Junior girls, our last chance to practice is next Wednesday at lunch. Be there. That's all for today, TJ. Let's hear it from our athletes. What's up, TJ? So this little ginger over here made himself useful last night. Yeah. Scored the game winning goal in OT. Let's go TJ. <laughs> Your boy soccer team took a 4-3 dub. Yeah. Hey TJ, back here for the last time. It's Toby Lasagna and Whack Jack coming at you with the news for one last day of the week. To start, Apple has announced the release date of the iPhone 11. Starting at 6 a.m. today, you can pre-order the iPhone 11 and shipping is planned to start on September 20th. Apple is also planning to drop the price of the one terabyte iPad Pro by about $200. <coughs> Android is all there. <coughs> In the world of entertainment, Kevin Hart is coming out of the hospital after the wreck in his beautiful Plymouth Barracuda. I hope his car will be all right. Hey Jack, did you hear about the rumors going around about butter? I'm not sure I have. Okay, well, I'm not gonna spread it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, well, that looks like we. That's all we have for today, TJ. This is the last day we're here, so I hope you enjoyed us. See you next time. Informative. I heard Mr. Jackson had some knowledge to give you, so let's send in our favorite segment. You don't know Jack, son. Hi there. I'm back. That's right. It's your favorite segment. Um, this year we decided to switch it up. I want to know what class of TJ is the smartest. So, let the games begin. A farmer has 17 sheep, all but nine die. How many sheep does he have left? Eight. You're so <laughs> So in a neighborhood, the blue house is on the left, the red house is on the right. Where's the white house? Middle? Yeah, the middle. <laughs> in Washington, D.C. In Washington, D.C. There isn't a white house. Bruh. A bat and a ball costs a dollar and ten cents. The bat costs a dollar more than the ball. How much does each cost? The bat is a dollar and the, the ball is 10 cents, so it's a dollar and 10 cents. The bat costs a dollar, the ball costs 10 cents. Wait, no, Wait, no, 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 the no. ball costs 5 cents yeah, and, and the, the bat, bat costs a dollar yeah. 5 cents. How much does each cost? 5 cents for the ball and the bat is a dollar 5. Ten cents. The ball was ten cents and the bat was a dollar. He needs some milk! Oh! And now we have it. At the end of week one, we could see that the freshmen are kind of where I figured they'd be. But, you seniors, what, what's going on with those answers? My goodness. But, right there at the top, sophomores and juniors. Keep it going. We will see at the end. 
But I don't know if you noticed, but at the end, the last meme I used was the ain't nobody got time for that lady. Um, and the reason I use that is because I'm seeing a whole lot of pants way down here, way down here. You have a belt on, why are we seeing all that? If we teachers wanted to see crack every day, we'd probably teach in Detroit. But we don't, we're in Denver. So just know, if you have a belt and it's not up around the top of your waist, then you don't know Jack, son. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Six. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Uh, eight to nine. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? How many hours of sleep do you get a night? If I'm lucky, six. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Uh, like eight and a half or nine. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Uh, depends. Weekends, a little bit longer, but days a week. Four or five hours, it's good. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Four hours. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Mm, between six and a half and seven. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? I normally get about five to six hours of sleep after pulling my hair out from my HP. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? About six.